The shuttle Atlantis is scheduled to be launched into space on Friday, the last shuttle mission ever. But what comes next for the American space program? Space pioneer John Glenn was there at the beginning, and today Bob Orr asked him to look into the future. 49 years after becoming the first American to orbit the Earth. You've got speed, John Glenn. John Glenn seems like he could still fly his Friendship 7 spacecraft. The window's up here above. That little light spot up there is the window you're looking at. Oh, that view is tremendous. So you're flying with your right hand here. This would be your yaw, pitch, and roll like that. This original pilot's joystick from that historic flight is the centerpiece of memorabilia at Glenn School of Public Affairs at Ohio State. But make no mistake, two weeks shy of his 90th birthday, John Glenn is more focused on the uncertain future of the U.S. space program. Now, because the shuttle's going down, and we, don't, we won't even have for a number of years now. We will not have our own means of getting into space, which I think is, is too bad. Uh, I don't like this at all. It could be five years, maybe longer, before the U.S. has a replacement launch vehicle ready to go. After Atlantis comes home and the shuttle program is shut down, American astronauts will have just one way to reach the International Space Station. Uh, we'll actually have to uh, go over and have our people go up on, on the Soyuz out of Kazakhstan with uh, Russian launch vehicles, uh, which I don't like. I don't think that's very seemly for the world's greatest spacefaring nation, as President Kennedy termed us. Booster ignition and liftoff of... For Glenn, it's about more than pride. At age 77, he returned to space as part of the crew of Shuttle Discovery, conducting experiments on human aging. Glenn says it's that kind of research, more than the pushing of cosmic boundaries, which requires a sustaining commitment to space. But continuing the manned space program yeah. requires money. Someone has yeah. to pony up. Oh, yeah, sure. There are scarce dollars. Well, you, you, can, you can always say that. It was scarce dollars when Lewis and Clark wanted to go to the West Coast and explore the West. And uh, people complained about it, I understand, from a reading of the history books. The next mission, though, like the financing, is uncertain. There's talk of landing on an asteroid, maybe traveling to Mars. But for now, we face a troubling pause. An end of something means the beginning of something else, and I don't think that something else is going to be a, a, the death of the manned space program. Well, I think we've had 50 years job well done, but that's just the precursor to even greater things in the future. New breakthroughs, Glenn says, which will happen if the nation which won the race to the moon stays in the game. Bob Orr, CBS News, Columbus, Ohio.